Welcome to Good Mythical More. You told us the worst gift that you ever received, and now we're going to um, experience it vicariously through your tales. But first, we got a 10 word story, my friend Donald. <laughs> Wondered if his weed whacker could taste. <laughs> some <laughs> big <laughs> Donald it. wondered if his weed whacker could taste some big almonds <laughs> <laughs> Donald wondered if his weed whacker could taste some big almonds uh, I bet you it could. A wee whacker when it when it takes it's like out it's some eating. almonds, it's tasting. It's like it's eating something. Yeah. Can we weed whack almonds? Can that happen? I put these out here, but um, oh, this is this is a bit of a teaser. We're gonna they 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 turned these cards here into little placards that we can use to rank the worst gift ever received. Man. Uh, that was submitted That's by inventive. Mythical Beasts. I've got the full story here. And you know what? I am, gonna, one of these. I am gonna open this at some point. Oh, because, because the value will immediately go down. Well, it's retro. This is brand new. It's not, you know, it's... it's I actually looked at some unopened uh, vintage He-Man characters on eBay, because mm -hmm. I just want, you know, I want to get back in touch with my youth. Mm. Uh, it's like, if you get an unopened... Uh, like Beast Man, it doesn't even have to be He Man. You're talking like over three hundred dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, three hundred fifty bucks. Um, I've been thinking about whoops. Just because it, I've been thinking about maybe doing the He Man haircut because <laughs> think about if I just combed it all forward and just cut bangs just to reveal my face, I could really pull that off. Well, you did. You you did cosplay as He Man. Read the first one. Let's let's get into this. Your own Ricky Martin CD from Alicia in Littleton, Colorado. Hey, where is this? I let my friend borrow my Ricky Martin CD, Livin' La Vida Loca, was just released and very popular, and he never gave it back. I would ask him for it every week at school, and he would always say he'd bring it back. For my birthday, he gift-wrapped it and gave it back to me. Also, one year, my aunt gave me socks for my dog, but one sock was missing. Okay, well, we didn't need all that. So three socks for your dog? Uh... So a, a gift, a re-gift of something that was just borrowed from you that you already had. That's really bad. That's a very, very bad gift. I, I would have been that 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 friend. You Which know, one? It's like, you know, you keep nagging me about giving me the your CD back. I, you know what would be funny? If I wait half a year to your birthday, wrap it up and give it to you, as opposed to just giving it to you now. That will be funny for me. Right. Pretty selfish. Yeah. Um... Do you guys Alicia, remember I'm sorry that happened to you. how precious CDs were? Like how like anyone lending their Ricky Martin CD to a friend, like that is a good friend because I feel like the weight of that Ricky Martin CD, like what it meant to her was so I mean, CDs, man. Yeah, right. it was the only My Britney Spears. It was the only place you had the power to play yeah. that song. It was well, on this physical well, thing. You could, and the was, images. You can make a tape of it. But you couldn't make another CD. Of but during the CD, well, you can't. You, you no could. One, very few people did that. Once yeah, they, you weren't became fully established. Right. And you also, could burn oh my CDs. gosh, I just freaking broke the He Man. Oh, no, he like he likes that. I mean, what kind of He Man can't even come out of the? I wasn't trying to break him. I think I can put him back together. The, That's what I used to do on purpose to all my toys. He's, he works differently. Before he had a rubber band that held him together. Now it's just a a nipple. Yeah, but that, what would happen is people like me would. He's got rip, a third nipple. I would rip that rubber band, and then I would never be able to play with it again. And it's pelvis. My sister stepped on my Britney Spears CD, and she broke that thing clean in half, and she never apologized, and I lost it until a boy burnt me a new one. But it didn't have the same imagery on it. It didn't have all the little butterflies, I believe, and I miss it. I miss that that. Britney Spears. CD. I thought, the butterflies that you believe in. I thought you were yeah. reading someone else's story. The beginning of that. <laughs> you did sound very reedy. It seemed like you were reading someone I'm sorry. else's. Sorry, I'm just reading my own memory. I've written it down in my mind. That's what it sounds like. 
Uh, so sad. How about a can Even of beans? His ankles articulate now. Yeah, he's, he's oh, much crap. better. It's much better. He, 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 full, full. His shin twists. His whole freaking shin and twists. And that's not even the thing that happened on real yeah, people. Yeah, that's not even a real people thing. Um, can of beets from Elizabeth from Johns Creek, Georgia. I forget what year it was, but it was whenever beats wireless headphones were all the rage. My sister had gotten them earlier, so I thought I could get a pair. It was Christmas morning, so I rushed downstairs and opened up a gift written to me. As soon as I opened it, I was able to see a beet box, but as soon as I opened the box, I realized that it was just a can of beets. Yes, the vegetable, not the headphones. Obviously, I was mad and never got the headphones. A can of beets. That, that's a... Uh... Again, this is this is mean. this is somebody's idea of a joke. This is a mean. It's a dad, specifically a dad. It's a dad this. joke for real. Yeah. But you but you got to do that, and then you got to do something else. Like you can't just get them a can of beets, and then that that that's the joke. Yeah, and, and then, no other. Gift. Then once they're angry, then you bring out like the real beets. I think this is worse than the Ricky Martin yeah, CD is, because at least you got worse. the CD back. Yeah, this is this is definitely worse. You can tell when you've gone fully into dad zone when you care less about opening gifts and more about getting rid of the gift wrapping. Oh, oh Like boy. I'm so at Man. that place. I feel you, so you, good when all the gift wrapping is gone. You may not think that I'm that guy, but I am totally that guy. I'm the, I get a trash bag and I, I will just, as soon as you take the wrapping paper off of the gift, I got it and it's in the bag. Yeah. It's, yeah. I got it, it's in the bag. Cause, Cause what happened, here's why. Here's the reason why. It's, it's not just for like some compulsive reason or for cleanliness well, or, or even a sense of control. And yes, it is all it those is things all those for things. me. <laughs> but it's also you the little pieces of the crap that like 30 minutes, an hour from now, whenever the kid gets back to like trying to put together the thing or get the thing to work or try to figure out where the remote is for the remote control car. Yeah. It's like if, if you have a, that should have just, a chaotic zone of crap, stuff gets thrown away that shouldn't. And then right. it's it's all of a sudden dad's job to figure all that out. It's dad's problem. It's, it, you know, he's the bad guy. Right, so this so, is protecting your reputation. Yeah, and trying to keep the keep your stuff together. Um, I never read the, the comics attached do you have to any it. Rel do you have any relatives that, uh, want to keep the wrapping paper for a, a future gift? Because I've got a couple. Uh, I mean, we keep bags. Well, bags are different. But not the not You ever the used wrapping. a birthday bag for a Christmas gift? No, yeah. Satanic Owl, Sarah from Johnson City, Tennessee. Satanic Owl. My mother-in-law knows that I like owls. She sweetly gifted me an owl lamp from a thrift store complete with red satanic eyes. Sounds cool so far. It is terrifying, and I am too afraid to get rid of it. <laughs> you feel like you're stuck. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a whoa, there's a it. photo. That's amazing. Send it to me. I'd like that. I don't think that's a satanic owl. I don't think there's actual uh, demonic activity with that. I think that's just a light. It's interesting that... Now, if that happens without electricity, you got a problem. It, it's, it seems like that'd be a hard thing to give unironically. You think his mother-in-law's... Has a sense of irony? I don't know her. Have you ever seen a picture of an owl without its feathers? Can you? Uh, no. Yeah, can you bring one of those You're talking up? about a dead fleshly owl? No, an, like owl without feathers. Living? Put put that up there, Zach, if you can, if you can figure out how to do that. <laughs> All right, and before you click away, because you don't want to see that, I just want to remind you that today is the last day to order stuff from mythical.com if you want to get it in time for the holidays and still use standard domestic shipping. Today's the last day for standard domestic shipping, holiday arrival, mythical.com. The reason I want you to see it is because you probably, right, like me, think that an owl's body is gonna look like a, there it is. That's what an owl looks like under what? its feathers. You thought that it was like- Oh, that's not a live owl. I thought, that, I thought an owl lost its feathers and it was just like, that is a model of an owl. I, I think I have also seen one that was. Um, oh my gosh! They are but anyway, skinny. they're not much bird. They're more feathers than bird. Not a lot of meat on an owl. No. Good grief! I found that out the hard way. It's like seeing your great grandmother naked when you're a child. Did you see that happen? I mean, at their age, they don't care. 
You had an interesting family, though. I never saw my great grandmother naked. Well, you're lost. <laughs> you haven't lived until. <laughs> but I can, but I can imagine what she looked like without clothes on, unlike the way an owl appears. I don't think it would be as surprising. When my 85-year-old great-grandmother was sitting in that chair smoking cigarettes and drinking whiskey all day, <laughs> I, I think I know what was happening underneath there. <laughs> A whole lot of what? I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I brought it up. Ice cream maker for the lactose intolerant. Okay. Julie from Montreal, Quebec. We like the owl. We're putting that way over here. I was with my ex for five years. The last Christmas we were together, he got unusually excited about giving me my Christmas gift. I was sure he was going to propose. We talked about it. Came Christmas morning, he made me close my eyes and put the box in my hands. It was way too big to be a ring, but I was still happy thinking it may be something that I, was really, that I would really want. If he's that excited, it was an ice cream machine. I'm lactose intolerant. Been for 10 years. And he was well aware. Um, yeah, that's a that is a big miss. I think the fact that Julie started this with I was with my ex for five years. So this yeah, that's this this, this has a happy ending. This this contributed to the ending of the relationship. So you dodged a bullet. This was a this was a gift. This was a gift to help you gain clarity about your ex. So where is that on the thing? Um, I think this could go ahead of it might Ricky go to Marty's number one. CD. It might go to number one. Can of Beats is cruel, but this is just... Oh, we're going from worst. Yeah, worst. Oh, you said that this... I said this was, a, this, was, this was a good gift because it helped you understand things about your relationship, but it was a good gift because it was such a bad gift. Yeah, it was... Yeah, so, yeah it's like it broke up their relationship. I'm putting him in kind of a defensive stance. Um... He's leading with the shield, but he's ready to obliterate with that battle axe. I don't remember. Of course, it's the sword that's I don't remember, where the money's at. I don't remember the battle axe. I just remember the sword. He had an axe, and it, it actually had it was it had more colors on it, kind of like his. Did you did you have He-Man? Did you play with the He-Man? I had the whole, I had Skeletor's castle. You had Skeletor's castle? The one with the snake? I had a castle. Maybe that was He-Man's castle. You talking about Castle Grayskull? I had Castle Grayskull. That's He-Man's castle. I think I also had Skeletor's thing. Se Skeletor occupied it, I think, in, in a few episodes. Uh, and I had uh, Cringer. Yeah. Did you have Man at Arms? The guy, the the uh, green-skinned guy with the mustache and the yes. I had. Did you have Tila, heroic warrior goddess, or Eva Lynn, the yellow-skinned purple? Sidekick to Skeletor. I don't remember. Evil warrior. I don't goddess. remember them. Uh, Mechanek. I just ordered a Mechanek off of eBay because he's the most ridiculous of, there's so many ridiculous characters in He-Man. Uh, but Mechanek was one of my favorites. You just ordered one on, off eBay? Yeah. Paid like 20 bucks, including shipping. Did you order it after you had chosen this as your gift? Yeah. Because then I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start collecting them again. The real ones. The old ones. I got that shelf in my in my room. I want to put some some toys on it. Okay. That way, when I walk away, and you're like, "Where are you, where are you going?" I, you know, to play to with play my toys. Play with my toys. <laughs> Bar of soap. Will from Rio, Louisiana. My grandparents gave me a bar of soap. And said it was a hundred. Said it has a hundred dollars in it. <laughs> Lo and behold, one day I bust it open to be disappointed even more than I could ever imagine. <laughs> mm, sorry. Will. That's how they talk in real. All of them. Louisiana. Every single person. Buzz it open and be disappointed even more than I can ever imagine. Cajun. Cajun. I mean, a bar of soap is... Um, That's not a bad gift. You can you can okay, wash you with can it. Clean. You can carve with yourself. it. You can... Uh, what did he say? It busted open? It busted open. And lo and behold, he talks like a Cajun. Lo and behold, one day I bust it open to be disappointed even more than I could ever imagine. Lo and behold, one day I bust it open He's to definitely be disappointed. Cajun. Even though I could, even more than I, I could ever imagine. Yeah, you. I, I'm not gonna apologize. Who was that professor character buddy on Buddy System? Buddy system. That, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, it like. was. He was called Professor 
I'm damned if I do. It was like, I damn if I do or something like that. It was a play on words. Yeah, it was It was all stupid. Actual cow pie from Selena in Greenville, Tennessee. Selena. When I was around eight or so, my uncle gave me a cooler with a cow pie in it. He said it, he, he just went out in the cow field, picked up a pile of crap, put it in the cooler, wrapped it, and decided to give it to me. <laughs> my other uncle has a video and it shows, and he shows it every once in a while, especially when I would bring over a boyfriend. It, was, it wasn't it was the only bad gift I got from him, but it definitely was the start of it all. Everyone is very cautious when getting presents from him. <laughs> so you get, she, he's, you've got two weird uncles. That are, that are in cahoots with each other. One yeah. does the gifting and one does the documenting. Cahoots. <laughs> uh, actual, that, this is just good, clean fun. I like this. Oh yeah, and you know what? This is great. Cal, Pies smell better than any other feces that you will come in contact yeah, they, in the wild. And um, almost a sweet smell to them. I mean, if you, if you're out on the frontier, you could you can make yourself a house out of it. It reminds me of you know the the idea I was talking about, which is like let's find a weird uncle. Let's do a weird uncle contest. I don't know if we're gonna do it. It's just an idea. Well, I mean, we have a candidate. We have two candidates. Weirdest uncle ever is the contest we're thinking about doing. How do they talk in Oregon? Oh. No. Meat I... sticks, Steven. I'm, that's more like, I'm going a little Minnesota. I'm trying not, I think they just almost, I think they just almost just talk like normal, like I, like a, almost like a news anchor. Yeah, maybe a little woke. Meat sticks. Yeah. Steven from Klamath Falls, Oregon. I once got a buck's worth of three for a dollar meat sticks. <laughs> Obviously, from the checkout lane. In yeah. the same package, my wife got sweaters and stuff. <laughs> this was a Christmas gift from her mom. And at the time, we had been together for quite a while. We've been together for 16 years. And I don't think the woman could pick me out of a lineup. This all seems like really good news. Like, why is he complaining about this? My mother-in-law doesn't know I exist. <laughs> that seems optimal. So she My mother-in-law is a great person. Three for a dollar meat sticks. Just threw it into a package that had a sweater for your wife and stuff. Yeah, he's a guy, he'll probably like a meat stick. Again, this is, this is nothing to complain about. Yeah, I mean, um, there have been Christmases where three meat sticks would have been the highlight for me. I wanna know what the note said. Like, was there a card in there that was like, happy holidays, these are all for you, and then the, the meat sticks are for Jeremy. I think, if you, I think if you get three for a dollar meat sticks and a gift, there's no card. But how did he know that the meats the meat sticks could have been for his wife? Well, she might have been there. Yeah, that's it. The meat sticks are for you. <laughs> I think the meat sticks are worse than the, not as, not as bad as the Ricky Martin oh, CD. I've been through all these. So, yeah, th this is it. So we have reached our conclusion. We like the satanic owl, we or had, owl, as some people call them. We had two people, three people, from Tennessee today. Nope, two. Ice cream maker for the lactose intolerant, that is the worst, especially when you're thinking you're gonna get engaged and then you break up. That's, that's quite a, what's it called? Pivot point. In basketball, point swing. Quite a swing. Point swing. You can now earn Mythical Rewards for every dollar spent on Mythical merch. Visit mythicalrewards.com for more information.